smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. This is a Chucky Beat production. production. All right, guys, so we got a Duralast battery. Got the toolbox, gonna go ahead and replace the battery. It shouldn't be as hard on this car. I heard it's pretty easy. And uh, yeah, we're getting Duralast because this baby is gonna be nice. We're not doing anything cheap. We're going all out. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the bonnet real quick. The, the boot, the boot. Nice, how do you pop this thing? <laughs> There's a button. Right? Yeah, but it's electrical. No way. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. This thing is for the front. Nice. Nice. We have to dump it for a little bit. Yeah, unless there's a key. There's a key. I don't, I think. Hey. Yeah, you know my dude. <laughs> you guys, look what I just found. Oil. Brand, is this thing new? I think it is. Dude, you guys, it's brand new oil. <laughs> I mean, we'll keep that just in case. And this is synthetic, full synthetic oil. So that's, bam. We found some things in the trunk right here. Luckily, all the trim is here. We just gotta clean all that up. This looks like, what is this? It looks like mold. That's disgusting. We're gonna go ahead and take out the battery. I'll show you guys how we do that in a second. A couple of things I found here is a whistle and a, it looks like this guy has a coach or something. I don't even know what's going on here. Okay, we got also, I don't know what that is, a pen, um, some weed. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. I should probably be doing this with a $220 check. Personal money, oh, it's a money order. What's a money order? I don't know. Go ahead and pop this. Look at that, guys. We get a spare, What's, and it's Goodyear. Look at that spare, that's a good spare. And a jack. Guys, this is solid, this is rock solid. Go ahead and remove this guy, and bam, that's the battery. Look how easy that is. We got a bracket and just two screws on both sides, and we should be able to get this bad boy out. Handouts create lazy people I'm not impressed with You want something in life, then why don't you go and get it? Actually speak louder than words do, it's pretty quiet, isn't it? Look at the world we live in, defined by comment sections Surround yourself with people that challenge how you... Alright guys, the battery is in there, everything is clean Not mint, but we'll get a detail later um, We're not gonna worry about those leaves right now uh, We're gonna go ahead and put the key in the car and see what happens Alright, got the key ignition I'm gonna turn it Uh, I'm not gonna try to start it. Uh, I think you need to start it for power steering, right? Uh, we're not gonna worry about that right now, guys. We're gonna go ahead and do an oil change before we start up the car. I don't wanna mess up the engine. I'm doing all kinds of, that's good. I'm doing all kinds of beeping noises. That means the battery is working. I don't know if the alternator works or anything, so we're gonna go ahead, replace everything we need to replace, and then we'll see if the alternator works. Um, I don't know how to test that, but now we have a new battery, which means I'm not gonna get some crazy fault codes. Think, now people that nod their head and act like they agree. Those people that cut you open just to watch you bleed. Always be yourself, not the person that you pretend to be. No, these people gonna tell you that you will never make it. Then when you do, they gonna say they knew you were going places. That's just how it works. Next thing you know, you'll be overrated hearing people say they miss the Alright guys, currently we're, we're draining the oil, but I don't know if you guys can see, it, we're draining the oil, but it looks like as if there's not much oil in the car. Like that, it would pour out a whole lot more if there was a lot, but um, we can clearly see there's not even a seven quarts in this car. So that's another reason why it probably didn't start. Alright, my boy Johnny just got all the oil out. You guys can see, what is that? Like, I don't know if it's just little bubbles, but it's like chunky oil. The way it came out was all globby too. It wasn't even like a, like a, you know, a consistent flow. It is disgusting. I'm happy to get that out. We got the new oil and everything back there. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and try to get the, the head off. All right guys, we're just loosening up the oil filter right now. We got all the oil drained out. We're about to put in the new oil and the new filter. It's gonna be good stuff, boys. All right guys, that is how a new one looks. And that is how one year and a half of sitting looks. That, oh my god, look, uh, it's just like, it's stuck in there, it's disgusting. Yeah, that's, that is dried up oil. Nasty. That is gross. All right, whatever, we got the new one. Yes, I don't know if you see that, but it's like different colors inside the oil. I've never actually noticed that. My boy Johnny told me that's kind of normal. Yeah. That's kind of normal. So I mean, but look at those guys, like all different colors. That's gnarly. All right guys, so we just got new oil in here. Uh, we drained the old one, put up a new oil filter. We put a new battery in the car. We haven't replaced the gas yet. We're just gonna hope to God it starts. I know the water pump's out, but let's see if it starts. Fingers crossed, bro. This is, I'm honestly like, Please. hold up, hold up. All right guys, moment of truth. Please. Too, so huh? We put in the battery. Yeah, and we got this is a new battery. Please, God. Ready? 
Okay, stop, stop. I think, dude, it almost, it wants to turn over. I'm hearing a leak. Alright guys, so when we were starting up the car, we did notice that a lot of coolant came out. Now I know the water pump's shot. I can see some coolant on the bottle right there. I mean on the on the serpentine belt. I don't know if you guys can see that right down there. Lighting's kind of terrible. But I mean I know that I know that's leaking, but that shouldn't give us a startup issue. I think the reason why we're having a kind of a startup issue is because of the year and a half old gas. I'm gonna take off this thing. Um, the air intake and we're gonna spray in some starter fluids We're just gonna see how that makes a difference and then we're also gonna check because we hear a fuzzy noise over here Where the coolant is leaking from. Alright guys, so we're just removing the intake right now. This is the what is it, an air filter? Yeah, that's actual air filter. It looks pretty good. Honestly, it doesn't look that bad We're gonna go ahead and reuse that. I'm gonna throw that probably put on top of the car. I don't that's wanna... windy huh? I don't think it'll fly. So once I spray this in there, uh, Jonathan's gonna try to start up the car and we'll see how it sounds Alright, you ready? Oh, let me try Alright right, guys, that clearly didn't work. We're still gonna move everything to see what that coolant leak is. Alright, as you guys heard, the engine sounds really, really I mean not good, it's but not it's good. not bad either. So we're gonna let's go down <laughs> let's hope, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go down to AutoZone. We're gonna pick up some spark plugs. It's saying there's a misfire. Not a misfire, what is it saying? It's just not firing. Properly. It's not firing. It's not saying a misfire. So it's not firing in those cylinders. Could be because of the oil that was in there. It was like gunky. Um, it could be because of spark plugs. We're gonna replace the spark plugs 130,000 miles. I think it's about time, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go down to AutoZone. Um, not bad. We're also gonna recycle that battery, so it should get some change for that, like $18. And we're gonna recycle all that oil, get all that all that stuff done. Let's go check out how much the spark plug's gonna cost. All right, guys, if you look right here, we got a water pump in his hand. What was that? We're just a container thing. We got some spark plugs. We got the magnetic rent. What is this thing called? Socket. Right? Socket um, for the spark plugs. We got all out. This is like seven bucks, but whatever. You get tools. Always good to get good tools. Um, yes, yeah, so we got two pumps for the gas. We're gonna siphon the gas. We got some rags. We got more stuff, you guys already know. I'm gonna try to get this baby up and running. I'm not giving up today. We're gonna try our best to take out the, the rear seats. So, I don't know how to do that exactly. We're gonna check out a video. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. All right, guys. So, if you look right here, um, this is where the gas tank is. So, we're pulling the carpet up and above and take this out. Once we take this out like that, you can see there's a wire here. There's four screws on each side, and we're gonna start pumping out the gas. This is gonna be a lot of work. So uh, we'll see you guys in the end of this whole drama situation. Oh yeah. All right, guys, we got the hose line free, and now we're just gonna about, we're about to get out the gas. All right, guys. So yeah, we just cut through the city's gas line. And we just got free gas. If you guys need some free gas, but not kidding. So basically, this is all the gas we got out of the car. Well, first like, off, let's show them what's in here. Yeah, they can show. I mean, I sealed this up pretty well. Make sure you seal that up. Bam. Basically, the other jug is just like that. They're both super full. And we got both of these guys. We're going to get another jug and pour both of those inside the other jug. So we're going to go ahead, take this down to uh, Recycle Road and recycle this. In the meantime, we're going to put the seats back in and we're going to start working on the spark plugs. Let me show you guys that real quick. We're doing a lot today. We, you guys can probably see how hyped I am and I just want to get this motor running. If I hear the engine run, me and Jonathan, we're going to BJ's tonight. Yeah, I don't think you guys understand. We're going to go all out. We're going to get super happy because then we just have to get a water pump, a radiator, you know, some coolant stuff. By the way, guys, BJ's is a restaurant, um, FYI. So yeah, really dope, um, really excited. Just really hoping that the spark plug is going to fix the issue. Um, we have some ignition uh, lighter, whatever it's called, to get the car going without gas because the, the tank's empty now. Super happy about that. Um, so without further ado, let's just start doing the spark plugs. Alright guys, so we just listen, we just got all the bolts out for the spark plugs and now we're just pulling it on out. That's called, I think it's an ignition coil. It has to be an ignition coil. He's pulling it out, I think he's pulling out the ignition coil, I'm not sure. Whatever it's sitting on top of the spark plug. He's pulling out that one as well now. What is that? Really? Spark plugs, see? The spark plugs right in there. The spark plugs right in there, boys. There we go. Really? You have it? Damn, Damn. he has it. Oh my god, that looks burnt beyond burnt. What is, hold on, let me, let me bring it over here, dude. Guys, that's how the spark plug looks. That looks gorgeous. Wow, yeah, that gotta go. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's replace all those. We'll get back to you guys in a second. 
at him go. All right, boys, I've been doing this the entire time. Jonathan hasn't helped with anything whatsoever. Not even the gas. Not I did all the gas. Thanks. Really? I'm kidding, dude. <laughs> I'm like I'm like TJ Hunt where Cal, you know Calvin's doing all the work and stuff. TJ, if you got you, you guys probably get that reference. All right, guys. So me and my boy Johnny, we fixed this all up. He mostly did all the work. I'm the one watching. You know that's how it is. Um, he did the spark plugs and everything. We did, we took out all the gas. Now we're gonna uh, spray some of the starting fluid into the intake. And uh, we're gonna see if the car starts up. It's really low on gas, which is good. We got all most of it out. We're about to fill it up with some new gas, but we're just gonna try to see if the engine reacts any differently with the new spark plugs. I'm really hoping it does because it, the spark plugs look bad. It looked really bad. So I'm gonna sit you guys down so you guys can look at this for a second. Right. Yeah, go. Stop, stop, stop. I know what the problem is. All right, guys, we're gonna take off the intake. Apparently, there's, it's a, there's a rip in the hose. We're gonna check yeah, that out real quick. You can see it really. Yeah, it's, we, let me show you guys real quick. That is cut right there. So we're gonna go ahead and just take it out and see what's going on down there. All right guys, as you guys could see, I couldn't get the car started unfortunately. I'm starting to think I got a little bit gypped, but at the same time guys, gotta stay positive. I'm telling you guys, when you get a car for $500, it's kind of a gamble, you're doing a gamble. The main reason why I was just like, you know, hands down, I'm just gonna pick it up, no questions asked. I'm gonna ask all the questions, he answered all the questions, but let's be honest. People don't tell the truth nowadays, and it's really sad, it's really pathetic. He told me that all it had was a water pump issue. I'm starting to feel like it's a whole bigger mess than that. Um, I negotiated the price from 800 down to 500, mainly because I told him, if you are lying to me, which he probably is, I could probably sell the rims and make my money back and not have to deal with all this BS. So I luckily got it down to $500, and the engine, isn't really responding. It could be a fuse, it could be something else small. We don't know yet. We'll check that out in the next video. I'll work more on it. Um, it's super dark out right now, I'm super tired. Uh, but yeah, me and Jonathan, we did everything. We learned a lot about this car. We're next, we're gonna probably do a compression test. We're gonna test the ignition coils. We're just gonna do all kinds of stuff just to make sure that the actual engine is getting all the, you know, what it needs to power on. And if it is, um, and it's low compression, we might have to do something else with the car, guys. But then again, I was expecting this. $500, you don't really expect a solid car. So don't, I'm, I'm not expecting that this car was gonna be you know, running and driving just fine. I mean, that was the dream. You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not mad at all. I'm actually super happy. You know, we, me and Jonathan, we learned a lot in the process. Worst comes to worst, I didn't lose much. I gained experience, I got new tools, and you know, from here down the road, I can always diagnose cars on the spot now. Um, and I'm hoping after we do this compression test, which I don't know how to do, or test the ignition coils, which I don't know how to do yet, we'll do it in the next video. Um, I'll gain more knowledge, and that all, um, you know, is, is definitely worth the whole experience with this new E46. I'm really loving how the E46 looks as well. Um, if this doesn't work out, don't worry, it's not my last E46. I'm just gonna end up maybe flipping it, doing something else with it. Um, and buying another one, probably stick shift, so I can actually enjoy it and working on that. I don't wanna drag this outro long, long enough. It's already long, so if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button. If you guys wanna see more of the E46, or if this doesn't work out, you wanna buy a manual E46, let me know in the description. I mean, I do want a 330 rather than this 323. It's kinda of weak. Whatever, doesn't matter. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about this fix, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Remember to stay humble, peace out. Try to hear my line and she's trying to get up on me I tell her like Habibti, that's too hot on my lahi Where they are, I was raised with Somali Everyone got a friend named Abdi I'm from OT